Yeah. He's not happy, huh? Let me give you a small update about what I'm going to do in this channel and to give you a little bit of prehistory, of course because I know you don't know me you don't know who I am, you don't know what I'm doing so my name is Ivan I'm Bulgarian I lived in Bulgaria until something like 18 years old until I finished school after I moved to France right now I'm trying to find my first job as a truck driver and I'm doing a lot of things in my life I was a footballer I used to play a lot my ambitions was to become a professional but I got an injury in the knee and in the ankle so yeah my dream a little bit went my dream went far away <laughs> I still have this dream but uh, it's very deep in my brain it's it's hard to get used with the thoughts that it's not going to happen so when I got my injury was 2019 I think I played a football match I got a I got hit by a guy uh, he break my meniscus in the knee and the legamo so yeah I didn't have an operation I did uh, the what is the name I did all the kind of stuff of uh, checking what's going on Oh shit, there is a dead animal there I really don't want to see that but, uh, And this channel will break up the The limits, the stress Shit What the fuck is that? Okay, I think it's not a dead animal Or it is That's a bird. Ah, disgusting. You see the castle there? Incredible. It's so many castles. There is so many castles here in France. Everywhere. Really everywhere. In the radius of 50, 60 kilometers in the region, there is hundreds, maybe thousands. I don't know. It's really incredible. In my country, if there is a castle, it's one in, in 100 kilometers region and everybody know about it. Here it's like, ah, not a special thing. It's just a, a castle, you know, yeah, we have a lot of them. So yeah, to continue with the history of my life. I, when I got my injury for two, three years, it was really hard to to move to do things it was really really hard I I can't say that I was on bed and doing nothing but especially the first year I gained a lot of weight really a lot and it was a big depression for me because when I was more little I used to be uh, fat and I lost weight when I started to train football and it was really a big no to become fat again but you know when you got in this type of mode being depressed and all that it's really uh it's really damaging the body in physical and mental way so i'm happy i lost all this weight after now i'm one meter and 80 centimeters something like that and uh, 81 kilograms this morning exactly look at them 
So beautiful. <laughs> People watch me strange, of course, with my big GoPro on the head, as you can see. Isn't a dream to live here, in this cold neighborhood. Look at that. I don't know, I hope it's not only me appreciating these views because I would look very strange but yeah, it's I really appreciate seeing places like that look at this house so beautiful, so calm <laughs> dogs really don't like me here in this region I pass often and you saw the previous dog in this one they're really really protecting good now we will go to the most calm region it's really next to the city I live we come from there and we're heading down to there we're going to do a whole round until we don't come back it's around 8 to 9 kilometers Depends from where I pass. I will try to extend it a little bit more. So we do above 10. So yeah, to continue with the story. Um, uh, yeah, I got a lot of up and downs in my life. I was fat. I was strong. I started gym. I got a lot of injuries. I have a lot of problems with the joints but it never really stopped me to do activities I'm starting uh, I started the preparation not so long ago about 10 kilometers race the race is at 7th May and today it's uh, 19 April I don't have a lot of time for my preparation so I think my goal is a little bit too optimistic my goal was to go at 46 47 minutes for the 10 kilometers after I saw that the race they couldn't make it exactly 10 kilometers so it's going to be exactly 10.5 which extend my goal to around 50 minutes I tried not so long ago to run a 10 kilometers with one of my workouts to run 10 kilometers fast of course and it was 50 minutes and 40 seconds something like that so it's a little bit too optimistic my goal but it's better to be optimist than pessimist no? <laughs> I really hope I will do good the most important thing is to finish the race without injuries oh, look at that I I watched a lot of programs workout programs for the 10 kilometers race but I'm kind of stuck board guy and I really wanted my first race to do it as I want to work out as much as I want and in the way I want I'm sure it's going to affect a little bit my time but yeah at the end the most important is to feel good so I will try like that for now I would like you guys to give advices for the warm-up before the race for what should I eat how many rest days I should have in the week before the race 
the race is at Sunday, 7 May, as I said. So I think to do two or three days of rest. I think it will be enough. I'm scared to don't lose it a little bit and really be very very tired on the race. To give you a little bit of update. So we are running at pace of 5 minutes 48 seconds per kilometer. We run already 4.5 kilometers in 26 minutes and 20 seconds. It's all right. If I'm keep talking, it means I'm good, no? <laughs> it's lovely, this field. Yeah, you could pass a little bit slower. Friend. Look at that little kid. He lives in freedom. Look at them. Hello, cows. It was crazy that I live here, uh, this region, for about uh, five years, six years, something like that. And I never ever passed from this road until last week, I think. I started to run to this region and it was always pretty far away in my head and I was scared to don't go too far away so after I won't be able to come back and I'm talking really for good roads like that because there is a lot of roads like this one I like them but as I said I'm not a huge fan of snakes so it's easier to see them here <laughs> Before two years, we spent the summer in Bulgaria with my girlfriend, and it was so exciting because Bulgaria has such a beautiful nature, especially at summer. And we went to visit a lot of places in the in the mountains. Oh my god! I think for two months we saw a little bit more than 15 snakes, and. I still have my fear. It's really it's really bad my phobia. I can't even watch videos with them or something like that. And it's crazy because I'm not even afraid of getting bited. I'm afraid of seeing them. It really scares me the most that of not being able to see them and you see them in the last moment when they come when they come towards you or when they are next to the road maybe it sounds funny to some people but for me it's really a, a huge problem I'm trying to find a job that suits me well now I pass my truck driving license and I really think it's sweating me good because I love to drive the problem is that in my region the 
there is how much three options I think that you can choose the first one it's there is a lot of work that you have to go with the truck and actually sleep inside which I like but my social wife will suffer the second option is to work at night which is not an option for me at all I think it's very bad for health and it's really something that I wouldn't like to do especially for longer periods and the third option is the ADR which means driving a truck with dangerous uh, dangerous things behind loaded with the fuel and uh, yeah things that can explode and all that kind of stuff I also think this is a, a dangerous job so it's not worth it the risk for money I'm talking so yeah I'm trying to find something suiting me well with my life that I can work from Monday to Friday with normal working time I like to sleep so I prefer to don't start before 5 6 in the morning my previous job was with a little truck and I kind of like it because you are very independent there but the thing was that you had to wake up very early like 2 3 in the morning every morning so this was bad and also the I had a lot of physical work oh shit I see a tractor putting something on the some product oh, you see how scared I am I thought that this was a snake and it was just a I don't know some plastic thing I don't know if I should run here I hate that you know these chemical products that it's really smelling bad I don't smell nothing but it will hit me there in the corner I'm sure not the biggest fan of these things I don't know if it's unhealthy or not but I think it is <laughs> ok we'll stop talking now let me turn the camera so you can see me you know who is talking to you all the time it's me if you like this video subscribe to the channel give me advices for my run and yeah keep it cool relax enjoy enjoy life life is beautiful peace out